clear faced as I always am. Um, I normally, these days, I don't wear a lot of makeup. So I love makeup, don't get me wrong. Just lately, I haven't felt like wearing any makeup. So I haven't done it. I think I'm gonna try to flip this. Oh yeah, that is so much better. Sorry, I had you angled a different way and this is way better. Okay. I am out this morning picking up flowers for my mom. It's her birthday. By the time you see this, the day has already passed. Um, but there's not a lot of places I can uh, go to that have calla lilies and she loves calla lilies amongst a lot of other flowers. Um, so I drove all the way into Midtown area, south of Midtown, I think, um, to Trader Joe's to find calla lilies because the Trader Joe's near my house never have them. It is so strange. I don't understand for the neighborhood that it's in and it doesn't have calla lilies. That's just me on me. But anywho, um, this morning that was on my agenda to find flowers. And then after that, I wanted to stop by a few other places, run some errands, and then make it to the gym. So I'm gonna be honest, I am not consistent with going to the gym and I really want to. Um, the older I get, the more important I see it is in terms of just not only mental health, but also just as your body gets older, it changes and you just have to continue to build strength um, just so you can handle the day-to-day -day basic living criteria. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyways, I'm, I'm trying to improve my health, not to get skinny and not to get, you know, that Instagram body or whatever. I'm... I am planning on going to the gym today so that I can work on just my overall health. You know, that's really important. Um, what else do I have planned today? Well, we'll just see. You can come along with me and we'll spend the day together and uh, see where this day takes us. How about that? I almost forgot to mention that I need to go pick up new foundation. Uh, my foundation no longer matches my skin. Uh, and it's kind of funny. I told you the whole story <laughs> just a second ago and then realized, then realized that I was not filming. Go figure. Um, but yeah, I was wearing foundation prior to COVID because, you know, I had a more active life and needed to wear makeup more often. And then COVID happened and my skin got lighter because I hardly went outside, which I know is not good. I could always go outside and get that natural vitamin D, but I didn't. Um, so then I invested in a lighter foundation, which matched my skin at that time. But now I've been outside more, more active or just, you know, like I said, outside more. And now that foundation is way too light and I look like a ghost, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. Um, so now I need to go and get new foundation. So that is also on the agenda today. Oh man, you guys should be excited to see this. I don't even think I'm gonna find foundation today. Every time I go looking for a new foundation, I never find it immediately. Um, finding foundation is really hard for me uh, because of my skin tone and I know that a lot of beauty brands have, you know, updated their shade ranges when it comes to contouring. However, for me, I have to go, uh, like half a shade or a shade lighter than my skin just to be able to contour, which is crazy. I know that, um, it's been years, um, since, contouring made a huge popular comeback and at that time and it was only geared towards people with really fair skin and even if they were a little bit brown 
it was still geared towards people with fair skin. Uh, so anyhow, I'm going on a tangent. I need to find foundation. It's going to take forever and I highly doubt I'm going to find it on the first go around, but you know, wish me luck. Good afternoon, you guys. Sorry I didn't complete the vlog last night. I got distracted. Um, I got home and I had run, I had ran so many errands that I was just tired and just wanted to come home and relax. Now I am just leaving my favorite smoothie place in, um, near my house. Well, actually, I just left my favorite smoothie place, um, which is a decent drive away from where I live. Um, I wish they had more locations. However, they only have two and both of them are nowhere near my house. But personally, I think that they are worth it. You go ahead and take off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that. Someone's just rubbing their engine super loud. I don't really have too many plans today. I went to the gym earlier today and got my smoothie and now I'm picking up a cake that my mom absolutely loves from Corner Bakery. She is obsessed with the chocolate bun cake, so I'm gonna get one of those for her. And let's see here. So I, I just pulled up to Corner Bakery, so I'm gonna go in and grab this cupcake really quick.
So yeah, the weather was all over the place yesterday. I'm so happy I went home and relaxed because it was definitely not a vibe. But today is completely different. I wish I was taking photos and videos for Instagram today, but it's not going to happen. Because I can't today. I got other things that I have to do. So what has been on my mind? <clears throat> Actually, let me rephrase this. What has not been on my mind? The blog, brand, my future, my family, just a lot of stuff has been on my mind all at once. I'm starting something new. Actually, let me take that back. This is not new. I am trying to make videos that is not only quality, but also realistic at the same time. I feel as though the not not only is social media overly saturated right now and i know that's like a very touchy topic but truth of the matter is it is overly saturated and so is youtube that's social media and i'm trying to start videos at a very interesting time where you know youtubers have been it has made this platform more established in in terms of influencing long before I even thought of doing this. So the thought of starting vlogs now is a little bit nerve wracking because I I I know what I love to watch and I know what I'm interested in. very dangerous <laughs> sorry Ooh, that was dangerous um I know what I would like to watch I know what I have been watching and one thing about the world of influencing and being on the social media platform and trying to have your life on the internet once one thing that I need to keep reminding myself is not to compare myself to others. And honestly, that goes a long way even outside of having your life displayed on the internet. Um, but it's kind of hard because I want to live up to the expectations that I set so high. Uh, and they really shouldn't be that high. And it all stems from comparing myself to others. I hope that when you watch my videos, not only do you get a chance to get to know me a little bit more, but hopefully I'm entertaining in a good way and not in a in something that is harmful to my, what am I trying to say? I hope that hopefully I bring you some comfort. Hopefully I'm entertaining, but not like in a bad way. Like hopefully I don't look stupid or sound stupid or say something silly. I will talk about things that are not popular. <laughs> to talk about or or controversial because that is just me in general. I like to talk about things that no one else likes to talk about. I mean, there is not too many things that are not too taboo in my book, but I will try to limit 
it here. Um, I feel like I just went on a tangent and I kind of did a few side notes. <laughs> Let's get back on track. I am trying YouTube for the first time. This is day two of filming. I have filmed so many videos before this that never made it to YouTube. So I will start filming and then it just sits there in my external hard drive. And then months or years or seasons later it's too late. So these last two days I'm really giving it my all and trying to force myself to branch out of my comfort zone and push myself to not give up on a video when I hit a brick wall, such as bad weather or outside turn of events, <laughs> you know? Like yesterday, yeah, I was tired, but I could have kept going. I could have, I should have pushed myself, but I didn't. And I need to work on that. But this is only the beginning, you guys. My intentions for the Blue Velvet is to not only share beautiful things that I find fascinating and that I love, but hopefully to inspire others as well. It's not a platform that I will spend a lot of time talking about politics unless I feel or deem as necessary. It, it's not a place where I come to give you a lot of advice. I may give some advice when it comes to styling, but for the most part, that is not what the blue velvet is for. It's just to share and think that I love, that I find beautiful, and that I find interesting in terms of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and then with same rent, food. And I'm excited for you guys to see me grow as well. And hopefully with YouTube, it turns into something more. We'll see. I'm getting really close to my destination. Um, so I'm going to try really hard to not force myself to hurry up and speaking. I'm trying to think of things to talk about. It's I don't know how, peop how people... How other YouTubers do this on a daily basis. It's like, do they write down topics and then they have their little post-it notes plastered everywhere so they can always think of something to talk about? I have no idea. This It just feels unnatural. Like, there are moments where it feels natural and then there's some moments where it just feels unnatural and right now it's very unnatural. Um, earlier we, uh, sorry, earlier I went to the gym I filmed a little bit of that, um, only the stretching part because that was my first time filming at the gym and I didn't know where to set up my camera and it was just awkward and then this really cute girl comes up and sit up, set, set up, uh, sorry, set up shop right beside me so you can see her in the background so it's like comparing this beautiful toned tiny woman and then you have me who's closer to the camera and looks way bigger. I'm like, uh, okay, I think I'm done filming. <laughs> you know, like, I felt confident filming until she showed up. Oh, yeah, and I got a smoothie earlier today. See? Robix, so, so good. Oh, my dad. Oh, oh well, I didn't catch him in time. Um, but yeah, I stopped by a smoothie place called Robex. There's two locations and the closest one is only about five to 10 minutes away from my house. So I got that. I get the same thing all the time. It's called Hero's Garden. And then I add a few extra things to it. Um, it is so good and it's definitely worth it. So if you are in South Johnson County or closer to the Midtown area, please stop by aerobics. It is amazing. I truly love it. I tell everyone about it. Um, one thing that I love about aerobics is everything is fresh. So unlike other popular competitors that are known for smoothies, 
Robex actually meant, you know, have everything from scratch. I mean, not like their Greek yogurt is from scratch. No, that's not from scratch. But for the most part, everything is from scratch. So please check them out. I love them. I just pulled up to my parents' house and I'm going to get out and... That was so awkward. Once again, it's an, another moment of feeling awkward. Okay, I just pulled up to my parents' house. See you in a bit.